Thanks for coming back. Welcome back. Um, so today's video is going to be the Kenyan tag, but the only difference is I'm not going to be sitting down. I'm going to be making gima. Unfortunately, it's not nyanini gima na boga. So as I'm doing the tag, I'm going to be cooking. I thought, why not something different, something fun? Um, and I'm in the middle of no deka gima. Well, I'm about to make the gima, and um, I've already made the boga. It's all done. It's just kind of cooking with the rest of the steam. But anyways, let's just get ahead with the tag. Let's go. All right. So I've got my Kenyan talk with me obviously because it's a Kenyan tag um no double dog since you're there I'm here and my iPad is there so I'm going to be doing this but it's all good we can do this right so question number one um where were you born specifically I was born in Pumwani hospital in Nairobi but I grew up somewhere called Loaka better which I'm sure you know about um so yes um are both what tribe are both of your parents? Both of my parents are both Kikuyu, so I am Kikuyu all round, head to toe Kikuyu. Um, what is your Kenyan name? My Kenyan name, Jetawa Duta, that as you know, well, with um with our culture or with our tribe, we usually, you name your children after your grandparents. Um, so hence why my name is Duta. Um, what is your tribe? Kikuyu, I've, I'm sure I mentioned it before, but my tribe is Kikuyu. Very proud, very proud. You could be very proud Kenyan in general. Um, do you speak any Kenyan languages? Yes. Um, I speak Nisha Koyo. Um, I speak really not very well. Only because. Only because. Sorry. Um, only because um, when I came to the UK, and I've explained this in my other video. When I came to the UK, um, in school I'm speaking English, and um, at home I'm speaking Kikuyu. So really and truly, there was no space for Swahili, and I was young, so. It just went out the window but i am still trying to learn and yeah but i do find that if i go to kenya for a long period of time and i'm around i'm um, swahili i tend to pick it up very easily so i do obviously understand basic um swahili and i can say certain things or understand certain things but obviously not fluently but i will soon um when were you last in kenya oh my gosh two days ago can you imagine i'm already missing kenya and it hasn't even been oh so yeah i was last in kenya two days ago um and i'm really missing it but god willing i'll be back i'll be going back again soon so um i'm just thankful that i'm able to travel so frequently um back home so um what is your favorite kenyan song oh to be honest, to be honest, you always get the ones that when they're playing the parties, those, okay, let me, <laughs> the ones that always play in the parties, we'll start off with this one, we'll start off with Kenyan gospel, what can you call gospel, so this one, Kenya, the dance of the parties, Oya ojika ganewe ganamai gejo hike kwera tlagaiwa that's enough um get myself together um going from gospel to party that's kenya's for you in it um <laughs> okay okay where is it favorite kenyan food okay my favorite kenyan food it has to be gimana nyani i absolutely love gimana nyani Oh god, I can have breath. Gimana Hanyani. Um that's one of my favourites. And what else? Um La Buddha, Mukimo, Madavi. Uh so Mukimo Matoke, that's my Ugandan, but yeah, Matoke, Jega. Oh my god, Jega. I don't actually that's the next question. But the next question is what's your least favourite Kenyan food? Gideri. Which is is a bit of a love hate one because Gideri is so nutritious for you. But it's just my least favorite and what's that thing called those bosses the, the dark bosses they're not uh, oh my gosh come on how can i forget them uh oh my god i forget the name anyway yeah so but then the thing with gadetti if you have it if you have it with avocado the best combination ever i can have gadetti any day if i'm having it with avocado um god what else um 
Hey, what's the next question? Uh, show us Kenyan things in your house. Okay, I brought a few things here. It's not everything, of course, but it's just a few things that will hopefully just represent home. But it's more really food wise. More food wise. So, let me quickly put this game out because this is done now. Oh, yeah. The game, the game out. You know, you have to put it on the. I think because I'm doing this at the same time, it's just not my best work, to be honest. But it's alright. Give me a... As you know, yep. <laughs> okay, Kenyan items, right. Zesta, come on. This is the best thing ever to have in the morning with your breakfast. Um, to, um, tea masala, tagaudi. You have this with your tea. You put it in your tea when you're making it on the... Or they go on the gas on the stove. Um, Tangawizi chai, tagaudi. So tea bags. I have already got this in it. Basically, that's what it is. Yeah. So tea bags, tea masala in it. Um, tea, more tea. I had I had the yellow one, um, but this one obviously is more better quality and it's got less stuff in it. So that's a good one. That's one that we buy. Um, Boso, siya, gideri. Um, if we don't have some gideri from Kenya, we just buy it here in the UK, and it's basically what it looks like. No, anything else that's Kenyan, but also Zimbabweans use this. But yes, Iwiza, this is what you use to make your gina with. Yes, um, anything else that's Kenyan, Moiko, Wa Kuruga Gima. Yep, 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 yep. This is what we make gima with. This is what I've just made now. Um, what else? Right, Suka. Suka is what you use when Kenyan women use to wrap around their waist, you wrap it around your baby to carry on your back. But Suka is it's something I think every Kikuyu has in their household. Um, and I love the patterns on it as well. This is just a plain one, but yeah. Um, Kenyan bag, although it's a bit, it's, it's, got, it's come up a little bit now, but yeah, Kenyan bag. And I think that's it in terms of what Kenyan things I've got around. Of course, everything else is dotted around the house, but those are the main things. Um, Lee, favorite thing about Kenya, ooh, favorite thing about Kenya has to be its people, um, our culture, we're such a collectivist culture, we're always together, we always unite, you see that when you're in Kenya, but I think you also see that even when you're not in Kenya, and you have communities in the diaspora, they're always coming together, and um, that's what I love about Kenyans, especially, um, what else, wonderful people, who love each other, a sense of community, um, and what else of course our wildlife our scenery you have the city you have the coast you have the where mount kenya is you just got such a variety of different scenery to do and i think that's what a lot of people love to go and see about kenya we're just such a beautiful we're such a blessed blessed country um and things oh wait and kenyans we know how to have a good time it, parties we're there we love to eat we love to drink which is what kenya's are known for but um yeah so that's definitely one of my favorite things and what's my least favorite thing about kenya it has to be road safety so so many deaths in kenya could have been so avoided or avoidable but obviously road safety is such an issue you just give them a little bit of money and then that's it you know keep on going even if you're drunk um not all police not all policemen are like that anyways when it comes to bribery but most of them yeah, so definitely road safety. That's my least favorite thing about Kenya. And just um, the corruption side of things, just having to wait for things to be sorted, to be done, to be finalized. And yeah. And I think that's it, really. That's the end of my Kenyan tag. There's not much questions. I wish there was, but that was fun. And I hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, that's my Kenyan tag for you. Um, sorry, the scenery is not very eventful, but it's all good. Okay. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. My mom, good guy. Look, that's such a mess, you know, you know, you know.